I can't go to the movies. Still. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. It's okay. It's not It's not that bad. I just, uh, I streamed some movies that I never did get to see. Because I was always too busy going to the movies. So, so that's okay. I don't know how long this is going to go on, but... It's going to go go on for at least another month, probably. <laughs> but anyway. So, the movie I streamed this time... Was a movie that every once in a while you'll see on a list for, like, underrated movies or something. And I had seen, uh... I remember when this movie came out and it was such a small release or something. I don't think it came to my area. Or I just missed it if it did. Um, but it is called... Uh, Colossal. The Colossal Giant Monster Movie. It's, it's an old movie, so I'll have to go ahead and do some spoilers. It's, uh... It has the famous lady. She is the main character. And she drinks too many alcohols. So, her boyfriend kicks her out and she goes back to her hometown. Where I guess she has an old family home... But she doesn't have any parents or whatever. And she hangs out there. And she meets up with old high school friend. Who is Jason Sudeikis. Funny man. I'll be honest. I do not really know the difference between Jason Sudeikis and Ed Helms. They're the same person to me. But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so that is that. Oh, and there's giant monsters on the other side of the world somehow. And they don't explain why, which is fine. It's just, it's a kind of a strange premise. Like, through a course of events, she, she realized that uh, the monster is actually her. And at a certain time of day, if she stands in a certain spot in her hometown, a monster shows up in South Korea... And knocks buildings over on accident. So. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And then. <laughs> but then there's the drama. Because apparently her old. her old, Not even high school. Like grade school friend. This boy has resented her his entire life. For reasons. And he turns into a very scary controlling McGee. The worst kind. And he's scary. And it turns out that if he steps into this little playground area at a certain time, a giant green robot shows up over in South Korea. <laughs> and then these two, they fight. It ends up being this big monster fight over there. And there's all sorts of weirdness and stuff like that. So, I, I thought the movie was pretty good. I mean... I like I like the concept, but there's certain things that, <laughs> and this is always in this sort of movie. So, since it's so predictable that the monsters will show up at a very specific time in a very specific t part of town over in South Korea, why? Are people there? <laughs> First time, obviously. Second time. But once it's established that this happens every day. It happens every single day. Why are, pe why are people still in that city? Why are they out in the streets? <laughs> going about their business. And then they're all surprised every time this happens. <laughs> so that that's just a silly, silly thing. Their relationship was weird. And it was weird seeing this seductive guy be a bad guy. At first, at first he, he was playing his normal, the way he acts and things. And I was like, yeah, this is pretty good casting. But him as a scary guy, I don't know. The juxtaposition it was a bit too much. It was, it, was too, it was too jarring from what I'm used to seeing him in. Nothing wrong with that. It's just if... The first half of the movie, he wasn't doing his normal thing. 
maybe it wouldn't have seemed so jarring. <laughs> My nose is itchy. So, I don't know. So, it's basically about this guy's descent into a sort of madness while he's trying to control this girl more and more. And he's like, if you don't do what I say... I'm going to make my robot stomp on and kill people in South Korea. You know, she doesn't want people to die. So she doesn't want... And, she, and they're like... She's like, well, I can't tell anybody about this. Don't think I'm a crazy person, because obviously. <laughs> so, I won't tell the very end, very end, but... It, it was kind of interesting, although... There's aspects of that I don't buy either. <laughs> But overall, I thought the movie was pretty, pretty interesting. It was an interesting little sci-fi movie that no one really ever talks about. It's just like this kind of obscure, obscure movie sort of thing. But I think they did a pretty good job with the, some of it, like especially in the beginning when they were showing the stuff over in uh, Korea. It was looking very, very much like Cloverfield. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, near the parts where I, th I thought it was starting to get ridiculous, it was it's seeming more like those old Godzilla movies where they just have people from the Far East running away from the scary monster. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> ah, reminds me of something. Yeah, and there's some other side characters. Like, she has this, uh, her boyfriend who's British or something. I don't know. And then the hometown friends. The young dumb one and the weird older guy sort of thing. But none of that was very important, really. <laughs> also, I want to know where the Sudokus guy if you watch the movie, you it's like, where does he get all this furniture? <laughs> he always got, like, so much furniture. At first, I thought it was a weird thing. Like, maybe because he was obsessed with her, he had stolen all the furniture out of their house originally, and he just starts giving it back. But <laughs> that's not what it... <laughs> that's not what I'm getting from, from it. That's not the way they explained it anyway. But... He just has truckloads upon truckloads of extra furniture <laughs> that he could give away p to people to say he's sorry. <sighs> well, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's it a pretty all right sci-fi movie. Colossal, the movie, it was, it was all right. <laughs>